Before I can start making the fuel cell, I need to create electrodes for the reaction to take place at. I took nickel chromium wire and wound it to create an electrode with an active area of approximately 2 cm squared. Then I electroplated the electrodes in a platinum catalyst solution for about 30 minutes. To do this, I, I placed the nickel chromium electrode in the platinum solution with a graphite electrode and connected them to a 9 volt battery with a 470 ohm resistor between the battery and the nickel chromium electrode. I didn't have access to a 470 ohm resistor, so I put two 1000 ohm resistors in parallel to essentially create a 500 ohm resistor, which is close enough to 470 ohms to work. The positive pole of the battery is connected to the graphite electrode on the left, and the negative pole is connected to the nickel chromium electrode on the right. After 30 minutes, the electrode was played nicely. In the absence of methanol, the fuel cell produces only a little voltage. With the addition of methanol and potassium permanganate, however, which acts as an oxidizing agent, the voltage rises. With six fuel cells set up in series, I was able to obtain roughly 1.4 volts. This was not enough to power a clock or the small LED I had, but it still showed that I was able to get some voltage.